Ken Whiting with Paddle TV and in this video we're going to try to answer probably the biggest question that anyone has when they're buying a new kayak and that's do I buy a sit on top kayak or a sit inside kayak? The difference between the two is pretty self-evident. A sit on top kayak is a kayak that you sit on top of. A sit inside kayak is a kayak that you sit inside of. How do you choose between the two? Well, unfortunately, there's no simple answer to that question. It really comes down to you. What's the most important to you? We're gonna break it down and look at the, the differences between the two when it comes to performance, stability, comfort, safety, features, and even some more. There's a lot to talk about. Let's get right into it. So I'm here with two kayaks in very much the same price point. These two kayaks are both around 830 US dollars. I've got the sit on top, the native Watercraft Falcon 11, and I got a sit inside, the Feel Free Aventura 125. I chose two kayaks that are very similar, similarly priced so that we can really compare apples to apples. The first question you have to ask yourself though is, what do I want from a kayak? What type of paddling do I want to do? And that's going to really help narrow down which kayak you choose. Let's start by looking at the primary uses of a sit-on-top kayak. All right, so what type of paddling is a sit-on-top best for? Well, a sit-on-top kayak is great for any recreational paddling when the paddler is happy to give up some performance for stability. Sit-on-tops are generally very stable kayaks. They also tend to be easier to get on and off. So if that's important, the sit on top is a good choice. They also, they don't swamp. So if you get a wave breaking over top or if they flip, they're not gonna just fill up with water. You can roll them back upright and climb back on. That makes them great for, well, there's great peace of mind that comes from that, but it also makes them great for playing around in small surf or for kids that playing around on a lake. But probably the main use for sit on tops these days is fishing. It's like you have this enormous open boat to accessorize and to store your gear. It's just so much more fishing friendly. All right, so what are sit-insides good for? So sit-inside kayaks. Sit-inside kayaks are great for paddlers who want a little bit more performance and are willing to give up a little bit of stability for that performance. They're also great for multi-day paddling trips, camping trips, because they can have a lot more storage. They're great if you want to push your paddling a bit for more performance paddling. For example, there are sea kayaks that are designed to do, deal with rough water and open water and whitewater kayaks so you can run rapids and surf waves. Sit inside kayaks also tend to be lighter than sit on top kayaks, which make them easier to move around. Now let's talk about performance and how a sit on top and a sit inside compare when it comes to performing on the water. So there's no doubt about it, sit inside kayaks are higher performance than sit on top kayaks. Now, there's a few reasons for that. For one, you're sitting basically on the bottom of the kayak, which means your center of gravity is much lower. That means the kayak can be narrower and still have the same type of stability that a sit on top kayak has. A narrower kayak is going to just travel through the water more efficiently. It's going to glide better. And so right off the top, it has that type of advantage over a sit on top kayak. The other major advantage a sit inside kayak has over a sit on top kayak when it comes to performance is the fact that you have a lot more contact with the boat. Not only is your butt, for the most part, right against the bottom of the boat, but your legs, your knees are against the sides of the boat too. You're wrapped around by this boat. And I, I commonly compare it to wearing a pair of flip flops and wearing a nice running shoe or trail running shoe. The sit inside kayak wraps around your foot like a trail running shoe and gives you lots of support, lots of performance. Whereas the sit on top kayak, you're on that top of that platform held on very loosely and you don't have much performance in that way. The third thing that makes sit inside kayaks higher performance is the fact that they're available 
in different materials. Sit-on top kayaks are generally available as rotomolded polyethylene kayaks, plastic kayaks. They're heavy and they take a beating, but they're just not high performing materials. Now, you can definitely get sit inside kayaks from that are rotomolded polyethylene boats, and most of them are, but you have the option to upgrade to lighter, stronger, stiffer, faster materials, things like uh, a, the ABS that thermoformed kayaks are made of, or Kev fiberglass and Kevlar kayaks. Those are the high-end uh, kayaks that uh, you pay for them. They cost a pretty penny, but the feel of those kayaks, the glide they carry through the water is truly remarkable. Now let's talk stability. Sit-on-top kayaks tend to be the most stable kayaks. Why? Well, it's because most of the people who get a sit-on-top kayak who don't want that feeling of confinement, they value stability. And so they design sit-on-top kayaks to be very stable. That being said, sit-inside kayaks tend to have better secondary stability. And what that means is when you put the boat on edge, it actually likes to be held on edge. It likes to sit there on edge, and that's great for performance paddling. It's not important if you're not gonna put your kayak on edge and have no desire to, but that's where performance paddling and stability come together. Now keep in mind, these are just general rules. Not every sit on top kayak is gonna be more stable than a sit inside kayak. In fact, this morning, I was testing out a kayak, a sit inside kayak, and I don't think I could have flipped that thing if I tried. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, now we're talking comfort. And this is where the sit on top kayak really excels. And the reason is pretty obvious. You have so much open space. You're not confined. You can move around on this boat, stretch, total freedom of movement. On top of that, sit on top kayak seats tend to be a lot more luxurious. They also often offer different sitting positions, a high and a low sitting position. Now from this high sitting position, your butt's above your feet and that's a more natural position. It's more comfortable. You do give up a little bit of stability when you raise your center of gravity like this, but typically sit on top kayaks that offer that can totally accommodate that. A third reason the sit on top kayaks are more comfortable than sit inside kayaks is the fact that you can stand up in these things and just get a stretch, let the blood get back into your feet and your legs. Makes a big difference on a long day. Features, which kayak has more or better features? Well, that's very subjective. What kind of features are you interested in? The sit inside kayak has great features for multi-day trips, for camping. You know, it often has hatches, bow and stern with bulkheads, and bulkheads are walls on the inside that separate the kayak into individual compartments, ideally dry compartments. Great for multi-day tripping. Um, the sit-on-top kayak tends to have features that is gr are great for fishing. It's an open deck, endless opportunity for customization. That's why the sit-on-top kayak is hands down the number one choice by kayak anglers. When it comes to safety on the water, by far the biggest factors are your use of safety equipment, like always wearing a PFD on the water, your uh, respect for your own limitations, your own paddling skills and knowledge, and your application of common sense. That'll make a way bigger difference than what kayak you choose. That being said, in general, I think it's fair to say that a sit-on-top kayak is a safer kayak. And now, the reason I say that is because a sit-on-top kayak, for one, it can't swamp. If you flip this boat over anywhere on the lake or a river, then you can just roll it back up and theoretically climb right back on and start paddling again. I say theoretically because climbing onto these things from the water is actually a lot more difficult than you think. And if it's something you expect to do, then make sure you practice it beforehand and see that you can actually do it. Because surprisingly few people can actually do that. The other thing that makes sit on top more safe is the fact that you're not confined, or at least there's no feeling of confinement. Now, most sit inside kayaks, recreational sit inside kayaks at least, 
they really aren't confining either. The cockpits are super open. As soon as you flipped over, you would fall out of the kayak completely. So it's more uh, perceived safety that you get from a sit on top kayak in that way, not actual safety. Now, there is a strong argument that in some situations, the sit inside kayak is the safer kayak. And that really only comes into play when you have the skills and knowledge to be able to make the right choices and to use the sit inside kayak at a high level. If I'm pushing my limits, if I'm traveling in rough water, a sit inside kayak, if you're skilled enough, is the safer option because it performs so much better. Performance in that case equals safety. And also, if you do flip, you have the ability to actually roll the kayak, which isn't an option in a sit on top kayak. Now, last but not least, portability. Now, the unfortunate truth is kayaks are big, bulky, and sometimes quite heavy. And so they're not easy to move around. Sit inside kayaks tend to be significantly lighter than sit on top kayaks for a couple of reasons less plastic, less materials involved with these, uh, and less features than a sit on top kayak usually has. Makes it easier to carry and possible to carry for one person. You can put this on your shoulder. You can't just put a sit on top kayak on your shoulder. Combine that with the fact that it typically weighs a good 15 to 25% more than a comparable sit inside kayak. This is a two person job to schlep around. Although, there are ways to move it around as a single person, like kayak carts, trailers, and some boats like this native Falcon 11 has a cool little feature on its stern. But as a general rule, a sit inside kayak is a little easier to move around than a sit on top kayak. Well, there you have it, a full long video that did nothing to answer the question for you of what to choose, a sit on top or a sit inside kayak. But I do sincerely hope that I've presented the case for both kayaks and you know, given you the questions to ask yourself to drill down and figure out what the right boat for you is. Until next time, I'm Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, please Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, tell me any other videos you want to see, and stay tuned. We got lots more gear reviews, tips, and paddling adventures coming your way.